In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to show you a offensive passing concept out of Shotgun Bunch that a lot of pro players are using to really dot up a lot of defenses this year, and I want to break it down here for you. So um, if you guys have never been to my channel before, my name is Cody Ballard, and I post uh, four videos a day on YouTube. And basically, guys, what I do is I make Madden 21 content. I make Madden 21 tips videos. Um, schemes show you what's best to use show you um, the counters of every everything as well and so in today's video we're gonna be talking about a shotgun bunch passing concept now if you want to stay up to date with uh, my channel and want to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing what I want to encourage you to do right now is I want you to jump into my YouTube community discord discord is the best possible place um, for you to stay up to date with everything that I have coming out uh, in Madden NFL 21. All right, so what we're going to be talking about today is Shotgun Bunch, and we're going to be talking specifically about one of the new um, hotness, uh, one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best bunches uh, in Madden right now, and that is the bunch, um, that is the Shotgun Bunch out of Carolina, uh, and it's specifically the Shotgun Bunch uh, offset formation now this is in the carolina panthers offensive playbook and the play we're going to be talking about today is double post now what i want to do really 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 quickly just to show you um why this is so effective is we're just going to run this against a standard cover two man defense and i just want to show you exactly how the routes uh, work on this play so what you see here is on the left side, you've got the C route. Now C routes are kind of hit and miss this year. If you have a really good receiver, they're going to get open. If you have a really, if you're, if you're kind of uh, neutral, they're going to get covered. So I wouldn't, they're not necessarily a dependable route. But what I do want to show you is what happens on this right side of the field with these two wide receivers. So uh, you're going to see door set. This is what makes this route so this this um, formation so good this year. Is this route to uh, door set? is is going to beat man to man every single time literally every single time now you, there's several things that you can do with this but on the cut to the inside he's going to win um almost literally almost every single time especially if you have a good route chemistry um if you have a good route uh running receiver there now this route to the tight end um this is probably the best wheel route that you can run against man to man it's not it still is not going to work a hundred percent of the time but um, it works more than you would think because he's going to get inside leverage. And so what I like to do is low ball pass like to the inside. You can click on and you can swerve catch him to the inside of the field. Now, wheel routes work really, really well um, this year against zone coverage. They don't work so well against man-to-man. -man. But what I do want you to see is there is a window on this route where um, if he gets that inside position, you can click on and you can use or catch wheel routes. Now people, um, you know, again, wheel routes are one of those things. It's kind of like, you know, this used to beat man. Why does it beat man anymore? Well, now you can literally, um, there you see edge throw just killing me in practice mode here, but literally you can, you can throw this route to, um, um, to your tight end pass lead to the inside, click on, and you're going to be able to ag aggressive catch it or to possession catch it. You're just going to click onto your receiver and swerve catch him against man to man. Now, what if they run like, um, what if they run like cover four? Well, cover four zone, and what I like about this this play here, um, typically what I'm gonna do with Tyler Lockett is you, a lot of people, um, you can do a lot of different things with him. Um, I like to leave the running back on this little underneath in route. This route on the left side, I like to turn that into a curl most of the time, and you're gonna see why here in just a second. But this crossing route, um, you see that it it's kind of okay. Um, it's kind of like the four verticals route. And so if they're like in cover two, what you're gonna see here is your uh, your deep post is gonna be. It gets in such a tender spot on the zones. If you could, and you could actually learn how to time this route. If you throw it like right on the break, it's actually going to be like cover two zones. A lot of those zones, you're gonna see it right here. So if I just wait right when he cuts inside, right there, I'm gonna be able to get that nice. Um, nice catch animation what this is going to force your opponent to do it's going to force him to use her um, that specific route well the, what that's going to open up for your offense is it's going to open up this uh this deep crossing route to uh tyler lockett so i'm just going to curl metcalf and what you're going to see is this route to tyler lockett i'm going to get over the zone click on and you can kind of get that in there now again 
Um, that was, I think, cover two. Let me show you. Let me show you like cover three. You'll see that what I love about this. Um, again, and again, you can take Metcalf. You can do all sorts of things. You don't have to put him on a curl. You can put him on an out route. You can put him on a. You can put him on pretty much anything. But against cover three, this is a one play touchdown. Um, as you can see right there. So if I can, if I can get that out a little bit earlier, if you do want to just kind of trust this route, let me show you the C route uh, first. So if you leave uh, Metcalf on a C route against this, this is cover three. You're going to see it's 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 not going to be a one play score. As you see here, the, the corner is going to drift back and he's going to get the ball. So that's why I like to put him on either a curl curl route or an out route. Out route works best against cover three. A curl route, in my opinion, works best against cover four. But all you're going to do, and, and Lockett's route is certainly more for zone coverage. You can even motion snap door set out just a little bit um, just to give you a little bit more separation. But you see right here, this is a nice little dot up over the top against cover three. Now, what about cover four, right? Everybody everybody in their mom runs cover four, right, this year. So what do you do against cover four? Well, you see there's the out route. I could roll out here with Russell Westbrook, and I could throw him over the top. Now, again, there you see Jair Alexander does come back on the ball. Now, now, now I do understand Jair Alexander is one of the best zone coverage corners in the entire game this year. Part of why I like to use to use the Packers on defense. But what you're going to see here is if I take Metcalf and I just put him on like a curl route, basic curl route, you typically can get this ball right over the top, as you see right there, as a big time dot against cover four. So now you have a cover four beater, a cover three beater, and then a cover two beater, pretty much all woven into the same play. Um, that's what makes this play so powerful. And then against cover two, what you're going to do is you're going to, most of the time, you're going to take this underneath to the running back. Um, this underneath little route to the running back is so effective this year. Um, it's good against man. It's good against zone. These quick quick uh, running back routes are certainly back this year because you can throw the flats so much. Um, one other reason why I love wheel routes. Wheel routes are a two-window route. I talk about this a lot on my YouTube channel. Two-window route means you can throw them early or you can throw them late. So if... If they're dropping all their zones back, you could throw that right there. And you're up, you're up field, uh, you're up. It's, it's literally like a flat route. So you could rack catch these um, wheel routes. And this specific wheel route, I don't know why exactly off the top of my head, but I think it has to do with the fact that it's um, so ex so drawn out, right? It goes out so much that you're literally going to be able just to just to pop it out there. And then you can rack catch it up and get about five, ten yards on this play. Now, again, if you if let's say they're in like cover four, snap of the ball, click on, and you're going upfield. Now, typically, what you want to do with this offense is you do want to run the bunch to the wide side of the field. Uh, we are running the bunch to the short side of the field. Let me respot the ball here. But you'll see if you run if you run the bunch to the wide side of the field, it's going to give your tight end a little bit more room here on this rack catch. And now he can get about, you know, five uh, uh, to ten yards pretty consistently. So it's and again, it's a two window route. So what I mean by that, again, is if they if they are just running like standard coverages and they're not doing zone drops, what you're going to see is this wheel route. When he comes outside here, you can throw that up upfield. If, if Russell Wilson can get him an accurate ball, once the running back comes over and this is um, cover two cloud flat. So uh, once the running back uh, comes over to pull down the flat zone, what you're going to see is you can pop that wheel route right in behind it uh, for an absolute dot against cover two. So now you're beating cover two, you're beating cover two man, and you're beating cover four, all from one play, really. Uh, and you're just going to work this up and down the field. I mean, this is really, truly one of the best passing plays um, in Madden right now. Um, you see Russell Wilson get loose here. But um, you're going to have the cover four over the top. One other little simple adjustment you make. If they're running a lot of cover four, what I want to encourage you to try to do is take DK Metcalf and just put him on a simple in route. And what you're going to see is this simple in route um, is going to burn burn cover two um, as I get sacked and throw the, throw the interception or cover four. I'm sorry. One other thing on this is the motion out of of Dorsett. So you can mix this in as well. Um, but if you just motion right in here, he just gets in such a cool little pocket, in my opinion. Um, that's cover two. Um, typically what's going to happen 
with with the way this play works. And you don't have to leave Tyler Lockett on that route. You can run him on a drag. Um, but what you'll see here is right in this window right here, the double post is really going to turn really going to kind of manipulate the yellow zone a little bit they're going to have to use that post route which is then going to open up everything else that you have at your disposal here um you can hit this this quick running back route just is so effective this year uh, let me show you against man one more time again against man to man you're going to have your curl you're going to have your this little running back route against um pretty much against anything is very good this year check down routes are better than they've probably ever been um, maybe not ever been, but better than they've been, uh, at least they, they were last year. Because um, you're going to see this little route to the back is just going to win. So that is bunch offset. If you guys have different setups, be sure to leave those in the comments below. But there's so much you can do with the bunch this year. So much you can do with this play, especially with how effective the underneath routes are. So um, just want to encourage you to try this play out. This is in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. And also, guys, if you're looking for a community to be a part of, if you're really looking to take your game to the next level, I want to encourage you to join my Discord. Again, my Discord is the best possible way that I think you can get better because when you start playing better competition and you start being around better players, you're going to pick up on certain things because more is caught than taught. So, again, go ahead and jump into that Discord. And also, if you guys are interested, we upload four times a day here on YouTube. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And be sure to check out our live stream. We're going to be live streaming tonight, Madden 21, at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. We will see you over at the channel.